Yeah, we did learn some new information about the shooting yesterday at that Walmart in High Point. Little appeared, spoke to the judge by a video feed. Uh, the judge asked what his plans were for representation, and Little told the judge that he believed that his mother would be hiring a lawyer. And that's when we learned that Little's mother was in the courtroom as well. While he was appearing on video, his mother did speak to her son, did speak to the judge. She said that she was still in shock and didn't really know what to say, that she didn't know know what transpired at the store, what would have led to this incident occurring, and she did ask that the judge, the judge release her son on bond. But then it was the assistant district attorney's turn to uh, present their side of this. He asked that the judge deny bond. She did ultimately decide not to release him. The ADA said that little can be seen on video turning around and then shooting the victim in the entryway to that Walmart yesterday afternoon. The DA assistant district attorney saying that Turner was shot twice in the chest and that little was apprehended shortly after by the High Point Police Department. Uh, Little's mother did speak to the judge, speak to her son, but several other family members were also outside of the courthouse today to show their support to the family. They didn't wish to do a formal interview, but we talked for a short time after this first appearance earlier this afternoon, and several family members told me that they believe that he was acting in self-defense, that perhaps somebody else at the Walmart also had a gun. So this video surveillance that came up, they told me they want to see it. They want to review it, get the facts, figure out exactly what happened. In the meantime, the judge scheduled Little to appear in court again in August. In High Point, Leanne Danier, WXII 12 News.